yeah my people you know i tried to break these videos um in brief so that it will accommodate some of our people who doesn't like to watch longer videos in case you have not heard about the phone conversation between one lady from the southeast inviting one professor from the north to attend a book launch written by an Iboma. Now listen to this conversation. I'll be right back. We, we are not ready to work with anybody even. Anytime now we are going to start retaliating on you. Don't think you have a right to, to kill our brothers to the, to any level that you still participate in Nigeria. In that. Fuck, fuck hell with your love book launch. You hear? I think you got it. Tell him. Let him go and lodge it in Imbakwe's grave. Yeah. You understand? Um, I don't understand what you're saying, sir, but... Um, yeah, I am equally don't understand what you're saying. You are calling for my intellectual. And you are idiot tribe, idiot group, idiot state. People who don't have value for themselves. Go and manage yourself in your emo. Kill the police station, break the prisons. Let's see where the North start retaliating. Why are you going to start? And it's not going to be long. Idiot. Don't think you are, you, have, you have a right to be Nigeria where you are where you are you, you are massacring Nigeria. Um, sir, you know that we respect you. Shut up, there, my friend. This... Shut up, idiot. <laughs> oh, idiot. In grade. All the houses you have in Abuja, you leave them there, you leave the houses in Patakon. Shut up, bro. Close the wire there. Close the phone there. I'm not participating in anything, Imo. I have so many friends in Imo. Frank Bezim, Dr. Okoku, Dr. This, Dr. That. The book launch is actually in Abuja. Who, who are you writing to book launch in Abuja? My friend, fuck up. Go and launch the book in Imo. Don't, don't you have a place with him go right go and lodge for 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 your for your biafra Ibo, Ibo, Ibo agenda go there invite anybody want to go to Ibo and lunch why do people run to abuja go back to your state you ingrate Ibo, Ibo, Ibo idiots you think you have monopoly of violence book launch what are you writing start writing today what you write before is where a story just wait the day north is going to turn on, on you any moment from now you will know you know you are you are you are, you are out don't call me for any book launch i don't pass that level thank and you for friend. your concern sir thank I'm you i'm not concerned for your, for your good wishes we have great I've never wished now this conversation represents the countenance of the northern elites and the general populace of the northern people the Fulanese particularly this is the countenance they have right now this is the countenance they have the animosity has reached the breaking point. Just because of the issue of um, Gulag that died, it has become boom. But Neko Registrar, living in Mena, was shot dead. He was shot dead in his home. That one did not make national news. The life of Every Nigerian is no longer equal. When people say that it is a retaliation, when people say that it is a kind of a reprisal, seeing what this guy said, my dear, or hearing what this guy said, my people, we don't know the rain that fall and the one. They poured for ground.
na anya malugo milizolezo na nka akosala akosa the water that fall as rain and the one they pour on the ground those of you living in the north i sound this advice let me not say warning so that you don't say i'm warning you let me advise you again start relocating home start relocating home now like this it takes start now like this it takes start to the other time make you not allow it to catch up with you you know our people we know they run until the water gets to this point until the million whatever you are doing here there we've been saying it for god knows how long we've been preaching relocate your wealth home you had him you had him threatening further threatening evils of abandoned property i don't blame him why will i blame if the president of nigeria could threaten Ndibo with his twitter and his utterance on the live video that is to tell you where they stand that is to tell you where they stand this one came up to remind you of your abandoned properties and that is the way you're going to abandon it in kanu you abandon it in medugri you abandon it in abuja you abandon it in mina you abandon it in kaduna go there and see the kind of thing my people built there our people know they learn lesson you see if you fail to learn from history history will repeat itself on you over and over again but that is the truth you are talking about one nigeria you are expressing one nigeria why they are singing one nigeria last last now you go be the victims because they pay lip service to one Nigeria. While my people express practically one Nigeria. When they go, they develop, they have a last, they believe that every place is their home. And that is particularly what is threatening them. Because that is exactly why they look at you and they feel threatened. These people are coming in, they are buying every place, they are building every place. It is a problem for them. They, are not, they don't have any interest coming down to the east to build anything, to establish any fixed asset. No. As wealthy as Dangote, tell me one of his properties in the southeast. Everything you see there, they are all leased. Why my people go there? Now, why? Me, Uchi Lagoon. My people get sense. I'm not here to sound like an ethnic bigot, but I'm telling you the truth. One Nigeria is a fraud. In case of those of you who usually misinterpret our platform, those of you mischievous elements hiding under the name of, you know, using some kind of name, funny names, fake accounts, saying that I'm talking about one Nigeria. One Nigeria, Bakoko. We're not talking about one Nigeria. We're talking about our homeland first. Now, the people who always talk um, for, for grammar say charity begins at home. Not be me talking. But you see this one when I talk, eh? Now me talk am. Say my people will continue being victims, or else, or accept. They reverse the trend. We will keep agitating. That's why I'm on the southeast governors because my people cannot return home when there is no conducive environment to invest at home. I will talk about the land issues. Um, I'll, I'm considering a day to deliberate on land issues in the southeast. I'll deliberate on that. Because when we ask people to come back home, what are they coming back home to? That is very important. And when we're talking about good governance ministry, this is exactly what I want to fix. I and my team. So that my people have a place to come back to and invest. Let me just hang it there. I don't want this video to be too long. But I want to use the opportunity to advise again my people. Return back home before it is too late. Share this video. Let everybody get to know everyone. The good thing you can do to your people, for your loved ones living outside Igbo land, especially in the north, is to get this video across to them. Make sure they get this video. This is a warning sign. This is a war bell drum sounding 
Okay, Katine Kemejioku. I leave you to the rest. Drop your comment. Share this video. Very important. Subscribe if you have not. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Download our mobile app and stay connected with the voice of the people, the voice of God, the voice of our ancestors. We will tell you on time with the truth. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.